Today we're going to look at perloid picks and ivoroid picks from the vintage era. There are 13 shapes shown here, only five of which continue to be made today. I've attempted to divide them into color groups. We'll start with a group over here. This group has a greenish cast to the perloid, a yellowish cast, depending on the angle and the uh, temperature of the light. If you're not familiar with that term, temperature with respect to light, it simply means whether it's skewed toward the red side or the blue side. Uh, blue being uh, fluorescent and red being incandescent or regular light bulb. Moving over here to the group on the right, as you can see, it has a, a far greater white appearance to it with some casting uh, still present. And this group here down at the bottom, I cannot categorize. They are on their own. This one here has a strong green coloration to it. And uh, this one here, what an interesting wave effect it has in there. I hope our camera could uh, automatically focus on these, which it appears to be having dip difficulty. But nonetheless, you get the idea there's some gorgeous perloid picks out there from the vintage era. Perloid still made today, but it's largely very white or something else called black perloid. And let's move over here to this uh, golden age group of ivoroid picks. Just as it sounds, imitation ivory. And these are all from the Golden Age, many of them unbeveled, most of them in mandolin shapes or banjo shapes. You can see there's a deeper yellow cast to those. That pick there has a yellow band on it because it came off of a pick display, which caused that coloration. That band is where the cardboard held it intact on display. Uh, a lot of beautiful picks here. Many D'Andrea, many not. I'd say it's about 50-50. Take a wide angle on this group here. Proloid and Ivoroid. Thanks for joining me. Feel free to rate with any questions you might have.